What's up, 10 Skill Squad? I don't know about you, but here in the Midwest, it is getting freaking cold. Did you know Christmas is like eight weeks away? All right, sorry, sorry, sorry to break it to you. But when it gets cold outside, that's when we come inside and we do mini Z racing, and of course, we do mini crawling. Now, I built this table last year and it gave me a new respect for model railway builders. Those guys are insane. This is not that. This crawler table is made out of mostly trash. Garbage. Seriously. You can still see a bush light box that I used right there. And this is like, I don't know, this might have been like a cup holder from like McDonald's or something. And on this episode, I'm going to show you how I built this one and literally show you me building it. Uh, because there are some things that I want to change, some features that I want to add. And uh, I'm going to show you how I managed to do it using literally trash. It's going to be a good time. So what we're going to do today is going to involve this old piece of scrap plywood, some styrofoam-ish packing material, a bucket of water, styrofoam, just, you know, like good old styrofoam packing material that we're going to break up and kind of the secret to this whole thing. This is uh, plaster tape, so it comes in a big roll, kind of similar to drywall tape, except for plaster. You dip it in the water. You fold it over things and it almost sets up similar to like a cast. You know, like when you broke your arm in the fourth grade playing knockout and Andy got super aggressive and pushed you over and it was like 30 degrees outside and that bone just snapped and you had to get it in a cast. And then everybody wrote their name on it, except for Jeremy, which thought it would be a good idea to draw a wiener. It, it's similar to that. We're also, we might use some of this. This is just your old run of the mill uh, expanding foam. And finally, we're going to use some rock flavored spray paint. Rock flavored, rock colored. I don't know. Is that wh whatever? So today we're going to be working in this area. This crawler table is only eight feet by eight feet. So space is kind of limited. And this area right now is just totally empty. And I want to add some more dimension to the table. So I thought maybe I would make a bridge uh, to span over here from uh, the Knapp Valley Bridge all the way over here to like the big crawler mountain area. That way, you know, once you go over the bridge, uh, you can turn and go back toward the mountain or you can come down and go all the way around. We should be able to drive under the bridge. Um, and yeah, it's just going to add a little bit more dimension and some more fun obstacles to play around with. So this piece of wood here is actually wide enough uh, for a mini crawler. Uh, definitely wide enough for it to make it across, but still narrow enough for it to make it fun and challenging. And I thought we would go from like right here over to the mountain, but obviously like that's not, that's not long enough. So we've, we're gonna have to make up some space over here. So this piece of styrofoam is actually like pretty close to the right size. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like that's pretty, like that's pretty close there. Now we could use like expanding foam like this, but to fill that much of a gap, uh, I mean, it's gonna use a lot of expanding foam. I think we can do better. So I recently bought a new TV with my ball and out of control YouTube money, and it came with, of course, like a bunch of styrofoam. So I broke up some pieces and, you know, I can get them to kind of fit in here and, you don't, you, you kind of want to avoid having any like straight, flat, blunt edges because, you know, you don't see that in nature. It doesn't look scale. So this stuff, you know, if you break it up, it'll give you like, it'll actually give you like some pretty nice, it'll give you like some pretty nice shapes, you know, and you can just kind of start filling in the gaps. Okay, so I broke up uh, quite a bit of styrofoam here and I just kind of filled in the area. Now remember, 
you want it to be challenging, but you don't want to make it so hard that, you know, one of these little crawlers isn't going to be able to get over it. So you want to make sure that you have enough surface area, you know, where you can actually legitimately drive one of your crawlers. And remember your turning radius on some of these crawlers, the turning radius is pretty, is pretty, is pretty wide. So you want to make sure that you have enough uh, flat spots uh, so you know you can make you can make your turns. That's one mistake that I made when I originally built the trailer. Is some of the obstacles are really tight, and you have to end up doing like five or six point turns to get around some stuff. So here is our we're gonna call it a rock pile. And as you can see, like I don't have a lot of straight, flat, blunt surfaces, but this is still ultimately just styrofoam. Like, you know, we can't really drive our crawler over this yet. So we need to kind of shape and mold this and make it look like the rest of the mountain. And to do that, we're gonna use that plaster tape. Now, fair warning, this stuff does make a little bit of a mess. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's plaster dust. So, you know, you're going to get plaster dust on stuff. And it comes in this big roll, and we're going to measure out a piece that we're going to lay over it, chop it, dunk it in the water, and then lay it over lay it over our styrofoam. So my first piece, I think, can be probably about that long. I'm just going to rip it in half. And I got my bucket of water right down here, so I'm just going to dip it in there and lay it over. Boom, just like that. And yeah, we're just gonna go bit by bit, draping it over our new little formed rocks. And you wanna make sure that you're overlapping everything um, because obviously, you know, this stuff is just fabric and it, it, can, it can come apart, you know, and you'll have a really aggressive seam like I did over here, so. You wanna make sure that they are overlapping. You can kind of pat it down into place a little bit and make sure that it stays. And yeah, we're just gonna go all the way across and kind of fill this in or cover this with drywall tape or plaster tape. And as you go, as you start laying the wet plaster tape across your formation, you might start to realize that there are some voids here and there. So, um, you know, we're just gonna kind of fill those voids and give that tape a nice, pretty solid surface to lay across. All right, there we go. As you can see, it's kind of starting to look like a rock formation. You know, there's just a couple little spots here where we gotta just tab it in. Just tap it in, just tap it in, give it a little tappy. All of your seams, you can just kind of blend them together. Uh, so they're not super noticeable like some of them that I have over here. Uh, but, you know, it's all part of it. Just experimenting, you know, learning from your mistakes. And, yeah, I think that looks pretty convincing. Um, and if you're a little skeptical of this, just wait until we paint it. When we paint it, that's really when it starts to, to come alive. Now, that one, this is one whole roll of that plaster tape. But if you've got a pretty big area, just keep in mind that... The stuff does, you know, okay, you go through it kind of quick. So while we wait on this to dry, we're actually going to work on this side of the bridge. Now the problem over here is that angle is just a little bit too steep for the crawlers and it is a really difficult challenge to, to make it up here. So what I'm going to do is actually just take some cardboard and lay it down so it's a little bit smoother and just kind of decrease that angle just a little bit, uh, just enough to make it not quite so crazy. So I'm gonna use some of this cardboard just to kind of flatten out this real aggressive, um, this real aggressive face here. And guys, remember there's really no like right or wrong way to do this. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I think like, as long as you're having fun and like experimenting and being creative, like that's pretty much what we're after, you know? So I don't know, this might still be a little bit too tight to come up this way. So we might have to actually come from this way. So I'm gonna build this out a little bit too. Yeah, so maybe something like that, you know, coming from all the way over here and kind of re-sculpting this to give you some options on your line. So. Yeah, so this is definitely a lot flatter um, than it was, 
and a lot less aggressive, but it's still gonna be pretty challenging. Even though it's flat, uh, I'm not too concerned about it because I think it'll still be challenging. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and wrap all this in plaster tape and then uh much dry and hard and ready to paint. There's no right or wrong way to do this really. Obviously you just want to, you don't want to over spray everything, especially if you've got, you know, trees and trucks laying around. Uh, but you know, you don't have to do, you don't have to do boring colors. I mean, you could do bright, crazy colors. You can have a disco crawler course where people like, oh, Kevin Spacey like to hang out. And that's cool too. Who am I to judge? Uh, but you know, we're just going to kind of break every rule in painting. We're gonna put it on really thick in some spots. We're gonna just really lightly dust it in other spots. We're gonna put different colors on while this paint is still wet. We're gonna go from all kinds of crazy different angles uh, and we're just gonna have fun with it and hopefully make something really cool and fun to play with. Let's do it. And there we have it. I did go back in and fill kind of some of the gaps uh, with that expanding foam. And I just kind of drizzled it here and there because that spray foam does make a great place for you to put like trees and such. So, you know, I might want to add some foliage up in there. Um, and then you can just paint over that expanding foam just like normal. The only paint technique that I really actually use or recommend would be going one color super duper heavy and then another color like just kind of misting over it and it kind of gives you this cool I don't know this cool kind of texture that you have here but yeah that is it I'm gonna let that dry I'll probably have to go back and touch up uh, some of those paint in a couple spots but other than that I mean that's pretty it's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did you make a crawler table or are you watching this video because you kind of want to? Hopefully that answered some of your questions about the one that I have and inspired you to just go out and find some stuff you have laying around and just do it. This stuff would have ended up in a landfill and now we're playing with toys on it. So Mother Earth is happy. We get a cool place to run scale trucks. Everybody wins. Let me know what you think would be a good obstacle and the trash that you would use to build it down below. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome, I'm glad you found it. I like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. All right guys, until next time, laters.